just arrived in Pisa, got off the train, um, had to wait half an hour because a, a mother of all rainstorms quickly passed and now just waiting to be able to register into my hotel. So I love Italy for a lot of the things, uh, the big monuments and I'll be going to the Leaning Tower Pizza. But what I really love is aimlessly wandering around these little alleys. Or in Italy it's Vaganda Santa Merta, I believe. Wandering aimlessly. Who wouldn't like just... Unless you're the sort of thing, sort of person who likes everything scheduled from for every minute of your holiday. I'm not that type of person. So many beautiful buildings. Pisa and this is my hotel. Just dumped my stuff down. Two hundred and seventeen pounds I think for three nights. That includes bre continental breakfast. But it's compact. But to be honest, it's all I need. This is the famous Keith Haring painting. Uh, American art. I think it was done 1988 or 89. One of them. It's quite strange in a city with so much history. I suppose because of a city with so much history, this has almost become a tourist attraction in its own right. In Pisa, it's a beautiful sunny day, one of the many palazzas around here. The weather the last couple of days has been really crazy, uh, scorching heat, torrential rain. Last night the, in Florence the dry storms went on for two hours collectively. Quite intense seeing that. Some ominous clouds over there. This is the main through fare for most people. The train station is about five minutes behind me and then carry on walking. About half an hour, 20 minutes or so that way is the Leaning Tower. I haven't been there yet, I will be going tomorrow. As you can see behind me, Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'm sure you know about it. all the facts. Sat in an 1170 odd, 200 years to complete. Uh, and if I'm being honest, I was slightly indifferent towards it. But having seen it, Maybe it's very much changed. It is quite beautiful. And I booked a ticket in advance this time as well. Well, on the train here, but it wasn't busy. It's going all these. But that's the only one you have to put a time slot for. You can book it online. Uh, it, it was reasonably simple, to be honest. Uh, I think 27 euros to go in everything uh, but yeah that's uh, all the rest you can just like book a ticket but that you've got to give a time slot because only a certain amount of people are allowed up at a certain time luckily I, I came a bit earlier because you're not allowed to take any bags up um, there's a, a free cloakroom there where you have to 
leave your bag. But it's 20 past. I'm due to go up at half past. So I got here, just dropped my bag off. Just took my water bottle out. You're allowed film equipment and all that. Just no bags. <laughs> Yeah. It's quite impressive. Quite strange, isn't it? That a, a basically an engineering blunder has made this city famous. Just inside of the new tower, just queuing to go up. You can actually feel the slant on the on the floor. Walking up the steps. It's really strange because you have to almost correct yourself now and again because of the slant. It's really quite surreal. feels okay on this side as you're walking down you can feel the slant it's really really disconcerting and really really not a big fan of it it's it's an experience definitely and I would recommend it Dan is laughing at me. See so here, I'm physically nervous. How do I get in there? How do I get in there? A lot higher. Barry, how do I get in there? <laughs> 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 I don't know to be okay, I'm genuinely shaking. I presume that's the Apennine Mountains in the distance. Tower and all the bells. The views are quite exceptional. Coming up this tower, pretty scary. Coming up with one which is I mean, literally leaning, as in falling down. That is just surreal. Going down. It's funny, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even look out the windows when I was going. Up. I was so nervous. But then when you go up, it's, you know, it's actually, it's not too bad at all. It's so much happier going down. Yeah. You still still have to correct yourself. Because of the angle. Just being up the tower. And first level you can walk on. It wasn't too bad when you when you wasn't at the sloping part. But when I went up to the very top, I didn't handle that well at all. I wanted to go straight back down. But it's just it's quite a surreal experience. I'd recommend it. This is Campo Santo Campo. Uh, it's the not 
too short. It seems to have been induced halfway through construction. But all these frescoes are from 1330 to 1340-ish. And supposed to be drawings of, from the Old Testament. Beautiful area, and you forget it's Italy, so it's not like Vegas, even old buildings like this. They're still sub so funky. This being a chapel, you know, I buried the dead, didn't they? Pomp and ceremony for the rich. building. Well, I can't see it changed use. There's supposed to be a big banquet then, it's a cathedral and then a cemetery. This place is also known as Monument Cemetery. It's supposed to be holy land. They literally shipped a shipload of soil from the Holy Land. Put it here. Because by all accounts until that point there were just bodies on the meadows outside. And then they one of the where the quite a busy site. And not just because of the tower, I don't think. And you got the old wall, old walls there. In the shade. Look at a lot of people are. The sun's moving over. Someone even doing yoga there. <laughs> 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 